everyone, Moo here with another gameplay video for you guys. Riku is up next. Of course, there's nobody else we would rather play right now because we already did Sora's video. Uh, so here we go. The skill text says you clear Tum Tum where you tap a set number of times and at SL3 we get four taps and the radius is medium. Now, just like with Sora, I've never seen the gameplay for a Riku before. So uh, let's jump straight into it. Five to four coin booster enabled. Let's see what the animation is like uh, and of course how effective the skill is going to be. So here we go. Oh man, this is going to be exciting. Here we go. Here it is, here it is! Oh, nice combo slash! Oh man, that is so nice. I mean, um, it's not quite as sexy as the key sword, you know, but, but it's, it's still really nice. There we go. And uh, just based on what I'm seeing right now, it seems like it's going to be far more effective as well because you can aim it wherever you like. So for example, if you see a Riku giant uh, head come up on screen, you can hit it with the last slash or any of the other slashes really, and that should help you recharge the skill a little bit quicker. Now, one thing I'm not liking about this is that the timer is continuing to count down as you are slashing. So you can't kind of dilly dally about, you have to kind of decide where you want to slash right away. Uh, and of course, there's usually a pattern that is most efficient, which we will find out later after we have a little bit more uh, chance to experiment with this. Really good so far though. The other option you have is to save the giant heads so you can try and get uh, time bubbles with them. You don't have to use the skill to pop them, you can actually avoid it. So the skill itself is extremely flexible and uh, we already got uh, about 1500 base coin. You can definitely do better than that at SL3, that's for sure. I'm just kind of testing things out here, not really... Uh, trying to get the highest possibly uh, possible coin I can get. Uh, 2100 after the coin booster has been applied and 3.7 million score after everything said and done. Really, really good skill. Very, very flexible and flexible skills are always going to give you better results uh, because you are in control of what you hit with them, where and everything else that falls into that. Again, you can use it to save the large heads to try and go for time bubbles to extend your gameplay, get more coin and score. Or you can do the opposite. You can hit the large heads and um, try to charge the skill a little bit faster. You know, the options are all there for you to decide on how you want to play. And I really like those type of Tsum Tsum a lot. Riku is no exception. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Any questions, comments, anything like that all down there. You guys know I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Do stay tuned. The two SL6 videos will be coming right up.